Hi everyone, it's Schematic Med and today we are going to talk about how to measure the pelvic outlet, diagonal conjugate and external conjugate. The main external pelvic dimensions and diagonal conjugate are measured in all pregnant women without exception. The dimensions of the pelvic outlet can be measured directly. For this purpose, the pregnant is put on her back, the legs are bent in the hip and the knee joints, moved sideways and pulled to the stomach. The measurement is conducted with a measuring tape or a special paleometer. The straight dimension is measured between the distance from the middle of the inferior margin of the symphysis to the apex of the coccyx. This is not the right straight dimension. From this, we need to subtract 1.5 cm, which is tissue thickness. To measure the transversal dimension, one should add 1.5 cm to the obtained distance between the internal surfaces of the ischial tuberosities. 9.5 cm, taking into account the soft tissue thickness. If we add 1.5 to 9.5, we get 11 cm, which is transversal dimension of the pelvic outlet. Now let's measure the diagonal conjugate, which is the distance from the inferior margin of symphysis to the most protrudent point of the sacral bone promontory. The diagonal conjugate is measured by means of vaginal examination. The index and long fingers move along the hole of of sacrum to the promontory. The tip of the long finger is fixed on the promontory apex and the edge of palm rests against the inferior margin of symphysis. The place where the doctor's hand touches the inferior margin of symphysis is marked with the finger of the other hand. After the fingers are taken out, the distance from the tip of the long finger to the marked point of the palm edge encounter with the inferior margin of symphysis is measured with the measuring tape or paleometer. This diagonal conjugate makes 13 cm on average. If it is impossible to reach the sacral bone promontory with the fingertip, the diagonal conjugate dimension is considered close to normal. In order to find the true conjugate, one we need to subtract 1.5 to 2 cm from the diagonal conjugate depending on the circumference of the radiocarpal articulation. If the circumference makes 15 cm, we subtract 1.5 cm. If it makes 16 cm and more, 2 cm. Conjugata externa or external conjugate is the straight dimension of pelvis the woman is put on her side, the leg lying below is bent in the hip and knee joints. The other leg is straightened. The end of the paleometer is set in the middle of the superior external border of the symphysis. The other end is pressed to the suprasacral fossa, which is situated between the process of the fifth lumbar vertebra and the beginning of the first sacral vertebra. The external conjugate is 20 to 21 cm. Measuring external conjugate is very important because it can help us to count the true conjugate. If the circumference of the radiocarpal articulation is below 14 cm, to find the true conjugate, we subtract 8 cm from the value of the external conjugate. If the circumference of the radiocarpal articulation makes 14 to 16 cm, we subtract 9 cm. If the circumference of the radiocarpal articulation is above 16 cm, we subtract 10 cm. 